APC under Tenubu plans to impose one party system on Nigerians. They have taken over the courts. And Ainek Atiku Abubaka raises alarm. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. You know? Even with what is going on currently in the courts with Ainek, we understand that APC mean business on this. Atiku Abubaka don't raise alarm. You know? He said, with what is going on now, APC under Tinubu plans to impose one party system on Nigerians. So, and you know how dangerous that is. That means there is no democracy anymore. You understand? And now the question is, what do we do? Well, let's hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you once again. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has lambasted the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, over the alleged plans to derail Nigerian democracy using subterfuge. He noted that President Bola Tinubu had already appointed his loyalists as resident electoral commissioners who have now been confirmed by Senator Godwin Okpabio, he is lucky, adding that the ruling party sought to impose a one-party state on Nigerians. Atiku spoke through his media advisor, Mazipo Ibeu, in a statement in Abuja on Monday evening. He explained that the idea, notion, of democracy does not just reside in a representative government, but is essentially rooted in the plurality of ideas. Article said, sadly and suddenly, we have seen a trend whereby the, the range of opposition engagement continues to be narrowed by the ruling party in Nigeria either through the electoral process, where opposition parties are rigged out with buzzing impunity, or during the, the post-election court processes, where the judiciary is conspicuously doing the biddings of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, it has become increasingly apparent that the democracy in Nigeria is in a state of ill health. It get more curious that all the states where the courts have made controversial declarations are state being controlled by the opposition political parties from Nasarawa, Kaduna, Zamfara, and now to Plateau State, where we are witnessing a situation in which what the ruling party missed out on election day are being delivered to them through the courts. These are clearly ominous signs that threaten not just our faith in the electoral and judiciary system, but evidence that our democracy is compromised. It is also crystal clear that the ruling party will not desist from its inglorious ideology of snatch, grab, and run away with power. It is even more worrisome. That what is playing out now in the Plateau governorship election petition is a confirmation of the threat echoed by an APC lawmaker in a viral video that the ruling party will compromise the judiciary process to ensure its ultimate victory in, in the courts. It therefore means that the times we are in are indeed ominous. And the journey ahead in rescuing our democracy from these buccaneering power grabbers is a long one. It also means that every man and woman of good conscience should come together for this common patriotic purpose. But we are not surprised by what is going on in Lagos State, where Tunubu holds sway as godfather, opposition became an Hanartama. Everyone, including judges, was forced to join his party. The few opposition members who managed to get elected 
we are beating to submission, including at the Lagos State House of Assembly, where the sole PDP member back in 2018 was suspended and arrested for gun running, but miraculously had the charges dropped immediately after he defeated, he, he defeated to the APC. These are the crude methods that Bola Tinubu has employed in order to reduce the ranks of the opposition and consolidate his hold and power. It is not mysterious that it was the same panel that sat and heard all the election petition cases from Plateau State before the Court of Appeal. How is it that in election case where the PDP came first and the APC came second, the court ordered that the APC be declared winner. Why in elections where the PDP came first and Labour Party came second, the court ordered a rerun in order to give the APC a chance of victory. As Mr. Femi Falana San put it recently, the judiciary under military dictatorship was much more courageous and had better in integrity than what we have today. It is obvious that the APC has turned the once respected Nigerian judiciary to a cash and carry one where politicians who does not participate in primaries are named as candidates, why actual winners of elections are sacked for flimsy reasons. They simply deliver judgment but not justice. Apart from the judiciary, Tunubu has already appointed his loyalists as resident electoral commissioners who have now been confirmed by Senator Godwin Okpabu, is a local, who is supposed to be heading an independent arm of government. This is how the APC plans to impose a one-party state on Nigerians. The former vice president for that said, external vigilance remains the watchword if Nigeria's democracy will survive, the APC onslaughts on our democracy and the institutions that are supposed to check the excesses of the ruling party. Like as I said, that there is fire on the mountain. Seriously. Nigerians should, as a matter of urgency, raise against the Tinubu you know, corruption network before it becomes too late to save what is left of the country's democracy. Hmm. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe. Please do subscribe. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political uh, landscape. Thank you.